My friends, welcome back. This is um, Distant Worlds Universe. We're playing the uh, the Slug and the Hive Mind. And apparently our researchers are uh, increasing as well. But I haven't been looking at my scientists. And we can see that some of them are just awaiting. And they're not being placed somewhere. I think that is a, a, the biggest mistake on my part. And this is seeing he is energy. We want to get him to the energy research facility. So go there. And he will start leveling up the others are doing uh, quite fine although it doesn't appear to be to be that he is leveling up do they only level up on larger stage uh, large boards i'm not sure he is clearly doing stuff so why is he getting levels and the others don't not sure not sure. So this one will be completed in a year. Hopefully he will gain a level then. Troop General, you were not on my occupation force now, were you? We should have put you on my on the occupation force. Even though it gives ground defense strength, we might eventually make a ground defense force and just keep him there. But he will only gain levels once he's being attacked. As for my ship captains, some are commanding, yeah, they're definitely commanding, some are getting really good. And I'm thinking about maybe we want to be building some larger ships. But for now, we are currently waiting, let's turn that, can we turn it off, yeah. We're currently awaiting construction of these, uh, actually no, it's been done, damn, that's nice. They are getting 5%. The governor is there as well. Uh, we're not going to charge them anything for the time they are growing the population. And they are already of our type, so they should be doing well. So there's 3% of Empire GOP and there is 31% of corruption. Now, now, that is not good. Troops is increasing. Hidden pirate base. Are, are we kidding? Is there a hidden pirate base? Can we destroy those facilities? Let's see. Um, I'm not sure. Is there a pirate? Pirates. Pirate base. Pirate economy. Controlling colonies, hidden pirate base and fortresses. Once a pirate faction has 50% control of a, f of a colony, they can build a hidden pirate base planetary facility at the colony. The first faction to build a hidden pirate base gains permanent control over the colony. Once a pirate base is built at a colony, the owning faction no longer needs to keep military ships nearby to remain control. The pirate base will permanently retain at least 50% control of the colony. If a pirate faction reaches 100% control of a colony, uh, they can build a hidden pirate fortress. Not sure if one of these two is a fortress. However, they must first find and complete a pirate base facility at the colony. Um, so, hidden pirate bases and fortress can sometimes be destroyed during a raid by other factions. If built at a colony owned by normal planetary empire, they can be destroyed by ground attack. A colony owner can launch ground attacks against the pirate base. Okay. So there is a pirate fortress from the Black Gang. What is our favor with the Black Gang? They are friendly. Uh, so we won't be attacking them because they like us. However, I will be taking this base uh oh pirates secretly funded to attack empire our intelligent network has discovered a covert arrangement of the ancient guardians and uh, we're going to be keeping this information to ourselves the sinister authority to the attack base of uh of the actual transport.
Do we... It's probably one of us. Warning the Actul about the secret deal will no doubt earn their gratitude towards us. It will also damage the reputation with the ancient guardians. Now... I don't even know who, who they are. I know one thing, and that the ancient guardians are incredibly strong. And I would really, really not like to deal with them. They have been losing power. They are being destroyed, apparently. They're furious. Pleased, cautious. Okay, well, we're going to be keeping this information to ourselves. I think that would be the best course of action. Hmm. Let's see. I would like to go to... Can we build, let's say, defensive stations? I feel that we might need them. So we can't build them like this. And I would like to start building a few other things over here. I think I need to go to the planet. Defensive base. Yeah. That's how I need to do this. I would like to build three defensive bases on our capital planet. And we're going to be doing three over there as well. But I think I m might also be very interested in building some of these research stations. Even though we're not on our full capacity yet. I think it might be a good idea. I, th I don't know actually. Four, six, there would be seven. This is already overable. What would make us go into the maximum amount? Because here is the spaceport with 80k. And this is the one that we actually build ourselves. That's 200k. Hmm. Well, I guess it's fine. So our defensive force just popped back in, which is nice. Can we actually see... Look, the power is only a thousand. And... What's going on with your shields? Some ships are just weird. So I would say... Repair and refuel. Repair and refuel. We eventually need to, like, make this fleet so much larger. With 10 or something like that. And just have over a million attack force. But for the others, the ships, we, uh, we do want to increase our defensive capability. We have a crap ton of cash flow. And we're not using any of it. Tax revenue is insane, which is absolutely fantastic. I think about perhaps just making sure... We need to upgrade our designs for our ships now, don't we? kind of feel that I don't want to do that manually anymore. <laughs> I know! What a, what a dumb move, huh? What a dumb move. Open design screen, that's what I'm looking for. So, go to stage ships. Auto upgrade design. Oh, wow. That just puts us over... Show latest designs, military escort 602. Damn. Wow, uh, we need to look into enhanced construction. And we need to go all the way. I think. Man, that design, that's too much. Six oh two. Oof. If we do that with you as well. Oh wow, that's increasing you like crazy. This is a cruise. Let's auto upgrade our cruisers. Damn the maintenance. Seriously, if I go to latest buildable designs, we can only do the destroyers. Size is 230. What's going on with the 32? So let's edit the military escort. Look, the enhanced armor is great.
we might want to get rid of one. Let's see, that would be 130. The armor is so low. Hmm. Yeah, we need to change this. So, rapid fire pro uh, projectiles are, are great. And acceleration, great. But this is completely the wrong thing. Accelerated projectiles, no. I want to go more into ground forces with you. Energy. Hyperdrive is incredibly important. And we're going to be getting these two out. We'll add in again. Like this. But I want to make sure that we get enhanced construction too as well. So we can make larger ships. How about this? So you're going into colonization. Which I do like. Point defense weapons, enhanced point defense weapons, improved missiles, bombarding weapons. We could go into a missile and a railgun race. Especially, I do like the new alloys. The uh, advanced shielding is so much better. A They are gifting us again. These guys, they, they do, do like gifting me. I don't exactly know why. It's probably my strength. Uh, wow, military strength is 24. What happened? Look, mine is 1311, which is still considerably a lot less than most of the pirate faction so i do want to change that but uh, damn uh, home defense force uh, i want to build another defense force so are all of these upgraded can we do it like this manually upgrade mm, they will retrofit by themselves i think at least i do have that option on now automation is on so that's why they're going back and forth, back and forth. It is also because the range. Why can't I see this? We have to turn that thing on. Where is that purple? Let's turn off optimization. Why can I not see this? How is this possible? Sector, defend target bases at that, neutron only, and systems. We'll keep it with systems. But we definitely want to build another invasion force, another defensive base. I keep before calling them defensive, but we all know that we will eventually just use them for attack. Office colony location, don't really want that at the moment. There's plenty for us to do. Troop screen. This is all of our infantry. Can we... Ungarrison? No, we don't want that. Disband. Uh, go to troop. Garrison selected troops. Oh, that's fine. Retrofit to the latest designs. Retrofit to the latest designs. 33 ships. And let go and build a bunch more. We have more than enough. Look at this. Look at this money. Look at that money. And our advisor is actually not buildable design. So we'll have to wait. Okay, fine. We'll wait. How long do we have to wait? It is in... After the hyperdrive technology enhanced construction. And that's 960. And this is a lot more. And that's on 81. Now, if we had more... No, thank you. If we had more counter... Uh, more espionage agents, we could choose to start stealing uh, but seeing that wasn't such a uh, huge success yeah i'm not sure about that i don't think that is going to be a good decision how is you doing so happiness is increasing which is great 36 percent tax is zero and can we just 
how can I just go to a planet just from this window? Is that possible? Probably not. Expansion planet then. No, don't feel the need to go with that. If, if I was, then I would go for potentially colonizable. And we could build and send a colony ship already. Quantity is quite okay. I definitely eventually want to be colonizing a few more. But I would start by like the highest quality. Also the size. The size of our planet is 24k. And this is 30. 32 with a quality of 90. This is the one that's our colony, right? Can we see our own planet? So what's the size of our own planet? The quality is 91. And the size... Hmm. The size is 30. So that one is actually quite in the region of our main base. And what's going on? Is this just... Just a colony? Is there something living here? There is something in here that we could occupy or colonize or have a bit of fun with. Those are gas giants. I don't see where Pantu Major. Is it one of these moons? Apparently we can colonize something over here. But I seriously doubt that. Where are we being attacked? So that's over here. In this system. That's annoying. But we definitely are getting attacked a lot. Something is in here. Shall we send our home defense? Go here. Go here and figure out what's going on. Especially now we can't build anything until we get better research. Man, look at that. It's insane. The size. The size is the only issue though. Is there nothing we can do to change this? Maybe... Maybe less trust us? They would lose speed. I don't like them to lose speed. There's just so little on it. Maybe the fuel cells. It's over a thousand. I think that would already be enough. Now we can build that. How about you? Edit. Fuel cell. Fuel cells for 40. It's only 8. Oof. <sighs> Do I want to lose armor? Not really. I could lose a truster. And that would bring it up already. Who is over 230? Troop transport is over 230 as well. And that's probably due to the armor. So that would be enough. The construction ship, its size is 505, which is in freaking insane, and I made it myself. This capital ship, 572. Let's take a look at this. Because that, that is something. The capital ship is insane. And it's not even having that many missiles. What is filling up? It's not even that. It's 12 iron trust. The size is 72. There's a bunch of seals. But I can't say it's too insane. Yeah, of course the missiles are, are very, very strong. So the capital ship is just off limits for now. Can we do anything with building? Yeah, we can now start to build more ships again. Which is good news. 454. Not too many. But I think I'll go for it. And make another... Defensive uh, force. So purchase those. Let's go to ships. Military ships. All the way here. And they will be a new fleet. 
Go to fleet. Third fleet. Home defense. Colony defense. Maybe. Maybe. And we will go into it assault once we get more. So uh, home location is going to be the new colony. And you're going to be colony defense. I hope I can type this. Colony. I don't know if it's with two L's. Colony defense. Uh, fleet. Colony defense is fine. There you go. So they will all go to the colony defense. They will start moving into the uh, right location over there. I don't even think that my my fleet can reach that. Oh, pirates are offering protection. Sure, why not? Uh, let's go. Let's take a quick look. How? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no. Yes, goodbye. We're cancelling the projection. They're weaker than us. And once we find them, we will kill them. That's the gist of it. Now, they will probably start invading or assaulting. What's going on over here? Now, they are not attacking. We could also let the pirates defend this planet. And we have three defensive orbital batteries around here now. So it is being defended. Which I really like. And that's what's chewing up my uh, my cash as well. 11% uh, so it is getting there. Uh, as soon as we hit the cap we'll make them pay for it. As always. But this is, good, this is as good as time as any. What the hell is this? In their exploration... Of the distant reaches of the galaxy, another empire has made momentous discoveries in some ancient ruins. In the ruins, they have found a very old documents from earlier history, uh, prehistory, earliest from earliest prehistory. It's so difficult to read this. These documents describe epic events in the history of our race, the Slokans. They state that long ago the Slokans once ally, um, allied themselves with a mysterious empire who invaded another galaxy far away. These invaders had plans to conquer and enslave the rest of the galaxy. What became of this terrifying alliance is unstated. The discovery of the dark and shameful past will decrease the happiness for all empires. Of the Slokan Ray, that is not good. They're still friendly, but everyone is cautioned, annoyed, friendly, pleased, annoyed. You're not getting anything from me, that, that's one thing. I will cancel trade deals left, right and center if I get the opportunity. And once I can build more ships, or once they advise me to build more ships, let's build one more exploration ship. Um, what's going on? Ah, oh, there we go. I think it's what's saving. Anyway, um, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.